Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Thank you for stopping by and spending just a little bit of your time with me today. And thank you so much to those that have subscribed to my channel, Older Women Rock. My channel is called, for those that don't know, Older Women Rock. I think we do. I'm pretty sure you'd all agree, older women do rock. My channel, Older Women Rock, is about predominantly fashion and styling. A little bit of beauty, a little bit of lifestyle, having lots of fun doing it, mostly on a budget, and certainly not taking it all too seriously. Mostly I focus on casual fashion, but not exclusively. It's fashion styling more so for the mature ladies, probably over 55, I would say. And I don't know about you, but most of us have noticed that these days, 60 isn't 60 anymore, 50 isn't 50 anymore either. We don't dress like our mothers did, and we don't even dress like women were dressing 20 or 30 years ago at the same age. We've had a whole revolution, I believe, and I think it was a spontaneous, natural one. I think women just bucked the system and said, we're not going to be dictated to anymore. We don't care what you're telling us that we should be doing at a certain age, whether we should be cutting our hair and covering up our arms and covering up, well, most parts of our body actually. So I think most of us decided at some point we still wanted to be able to dress the way we wanted to be able to dress, to express ourselves. We didn't want to become generic. We didn't want to blend in and become what society expected us to become like and to look like in our fashion styles. So I encourage all women to embrace their personal style, whatever that might be, because we all tend to lean toward one or probably two styles and we might have a fusion of them. I live in a coastal resort town so quite obviously I'm going to dress predominantly in a casual style and quite often also in a smart casual style. I think most of us dress in a smart casual style when we're dressing up a notch or two, when we're getting out of our super cash clothes. Today I have another haul from you from ASOS. I ended up with a credit from ASOS, quite a big credit actually. I have been really trying to use it up. And <laughs> Every time I order clothing, well, I don't like it and I have to send it back and I have an existing credit that just keeps rolling on. Sometimes there might be one item in there that I keep. So I'm kind of frustrated because I've got this credit and I know exactly what I'd spend the money on if I could find the garments that fit correctly. And the number one thing would be, I'm really on the hunt for a couple of new blazers because I absolutely adore blazers. So this time I was probably a bit silly really. I just thought I'm not having much luck trying to find the things that I want for myself that I know that are gaps in my wardrobe. So maybe I'll just treat myself to some really fun fashion that I wouldn't normally spend the money on. This dress is one of those. <laughs> I'm always on the hunt for a great fitting white dress because I love white dresses more than I love black dresses, more than I love an LBD. Although I do admit that LBDs are the most practical dress you can have in your wardrobe but I'm an absolute lover of white and I love a gorgeous white dress. Well they're not easy to find and nor are LBDs by the way. A really good fitting LBD is very hard to find. It sounds simple but it's not. So sometimes I think if I can't find a great fitting white dress I might try a good fitting black and white dress where white is the predominant colour. So I tried this one. I do like it. I already knew before I bought it the length wasn't going to be right for me. I don't wear this length. I don't even really consider this a midi, but they just keep churning out pants, skirts and dresses in these awkward, strange lengths. It's been going on for two or three seasons now. I can't see it stopping. It's very frustrating. It's like, come on guys. Do maxis or do them just on the knee or below the knee. Give us a break. If you're tall, a midi can look gorgeous. I do think midis cut off ladies that are petite. I do think that mid calf cuts you off a bit if you're short. This is a great dress. It is a bit of an events dress. Yeah, where am I going in this lately? I don't know, but I've got high hopes. <laughs> I've got hopes to be socializing more and dressing up more. Not sure about the puffy sleeves. I don't mind a little frill or a puff or a gather on a sleeve. This one's 
quite puffy. I'm feeling like it's a real throwback to the, the 80s, um, perhaps the early 90s or sometime in the 80s. I feel like this dress is a bit of a, a dynasty throwback or something. I quite like this Dalmatian print. That's what I call it. I don't know what it really is called, but I call it Dalmatian print. I do quite like this print, but I don't think I'll keep the dress. I don't think I'm ever going to wear it, to be honest. I do like it a lot and probably can't fault the fit despite Christmas, <laughs> Christmas lunch that's showing up here. If you're like me, every year you promise yourself, I'm not going to eat so much this Christmas. I'm going to just indulge a little bit, but I'm not going to go overboard and I'm just going to go that day and that'll be it. I'll stop. I won't go into the night. I won't eat more leftovers the next day. I promise myself that every year and every year I fail at that. <laughs> So the Dalmatian dress is going back to ASOS. I'll just show you these cute shoes that are also going back. I wanted a pair of white pumps that weren't too high, of course. I don't wear them very high. And I've been seeing um, Ada from Ada Solly Styling wearing on Instagram, wearing some really gorgeous white high he white heels. They weren't high heels, but she was wearing them sandals, summer ones with her white dresses, her light colored dresses. I haven't owned a pair of white sandals in such a long time. And it inspired me because it really looked quite fashionable and stylish. And I thought that might be really handy for when I do find this perfect white dress. I bought these because I do like this plastic look that's happening at the moment, the clear look. Have you seen that? There's quite a bit around and it's been happening for a while. And these have got little, um, well, they're actually diamantes. They've got little diamante studs all over the front. Now, the problem is the ridiculous heel. Look at that heel. It's a tiny, narrow little kitten heel. I just didn't feel very stable in that. And quite honestly, I just think it's a bit lacking. And had they had a um, more solid heel, a block heel or something just more solid, I would have kept those. I think they're very interesting and I think they're really cute. Now, talking of plastic shoes, I mean, it sounds awful, doesn't it? Plastic shoes or see-through shoes. Are they perspex or plastic? They feel like plastic, to be honest. Um, I'm wearing a pair now. I'll take them off. You might have seen me wearing these quite a bit in my videos lately. I absolutely love wearing these. These do have the block heel. I suppose they um, meant that, that is perspex, the, the actual heel. Probably meant to look like fake glass or something, but... Um, the front is, well, I think it's plastic, it's see-through and they're just um, slides. Now they are incredibly comfortable, they just have a, a beige or a neutral upper on them. But I've been wearing them a lot. I don't know if you're into this look. Anyway, these are Public Desire from ASOS and I only paid about $50 for these and they're great because the block heel's nice and comfy to walk in, it's not too high. They absolutely go with everything. That's the beautiful thing about these see-through shoes they'll go with everything there's nothing they can't team up with they're even better than nude in a way i'm into these lately tell me what you think about the the plastic look i know it doesn't sound very nice does it but um tell me what your thoughts are on this plastic see-through look this dress is such a fail it's a huge fail it looks more like a nighty doesn't it in some ways it's really big on me and the crazy thing is there is no zips in this dress I had to put it on over the, the head there's no zips there's no um, way there's no belt tie at the back to bring it in and give it any shape and definition it's too low in the front for me it's absolutely beautiful fabric it's cotton and it's like a self check in the cotton it's fully lined and it's got the um, broderie anglaise here it's just an off-white color I actually really like the style of this dress if it was more of a fitted dress in some way. I think it's got a lot of potential as a style. I think it's quite stylish. It's a little bit boho, but it's very fresh looking. As you can see, when I pull it in tighter like that and give it a bit of a shape and definition to it, and it's not so, well, baggy and saggy, I think it's actually quite a gorgeous dress. But I don't know how I would get in, if I did take it in, I don't know how I'd get in and out of the dress because <laughs> it would be so tight I wouldn't be able to get it over my head. I think it's really quite lovely. It definitely has to go back. 
and I could see where they were going with it and it had a lot of potential it was almost there they just didn't think it through properly but it's um, it definitely has to go back still on the white dresses this is a really gorgeous dress but once again they didn't think it through with the fit of the style now the problem with this dress is it looks good right <laughs> as long as I don't move it looks fine the problem is here in the front they haven't put any elastic or anything to keep it down here in the front so as soon as I move in any direction it comes forward and buckles and if I bent over it would just well fall open really and the sleeves are very very tight they've put elastic in the sleeves extremely tight the same at the back they didn't put elastic tight enough here in the back and it's dipping down a bit that wouldn't be tragic that you could actually fix or I could fix it's only one roll of elastic but with the front here I don't really think there's anything you can do about that they just didn't think it through but it is a great style it's a very elegant dress it's an event dress it definitely could be a day event dress it probably is looking a little bit bridal so I'd be a bit wary of that with this one if I did want to keep it as well I think it's a great dress I think it's a really elegant little dress it's got to go back as well the next garments I'm going to show you I think are all tops or blouses so I've just tried them on for you and give you an indication whether I like them or don't like them and give me some input tell me what you think leave, leave me some comments and tell me what you think this blouse is absolutely beautiful it's made from a crepe fabric it's sort of like a um, textured crepe with the little self spots on there I don't know what you call this style with those little fluffy spots i'm sure it's got a name i should know that but i don't for some reason it's a very soft elegant off-white or almost a cream color it's shirt all the way around so it's really quite comfortable to wear and i don't mind this little frill here i don't usually wear this style but i don't mind it in this particular blouse i've teamed it up with a bit of a classic tan pencil skirt I quite like pencil skirts on me. Um, I know they're not particularly really that in fashion at the moment. I usually wear my pencil skirts with a tee, even a printed tee or a tank. I usually sort of tone them down so they don't look corporate in any way. I just felt like being a little bit more dressy today. And I think this blouse is just such a pretty blouse. The blouse would look fine with jeans or pants. I mean, it's quite versatile how you could wear this blouse actually. A soft blouse always is like that.
it's too narrow. It's really very narrow across, well, the whole way across. It's just a, a narrow dress. It's made for someone very thin, not me. It's cute, I like that. At first I thought the leopard print top was too tight on me. It just didn't cross over properly. It's a crossover as you saw me doing it up. And I wasn't sure. The fabric's a little bit more synthetic than I like, but when I had a look at it again, I think I like it. I think it's quite a nice cut actually. And of course those of you who have watched quite a few of my videos will know I'm a bit of a leopard print lover. I might be the leopard print queen on YouTube, I don't know. <laughs> but I think it's actually quite a, um, quite a nice fit. Uh, God, I think I might keep this one. It might be the only thing that I do actually keep. It's a little bit va va but I need a little bit of that now and again. I think the pants tame it down anyway. 